Hey, oh, oh, Jerry, how's it going? Let's get this started here. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Start like a minute early or two. Um, tonight we're breaking a half case of 2019 Panini Leather and Lumber. I already did half of the first box in my preview videos. I like to do those um, just to give you like a condensed version of what you can expect. Um, out of that first box, the first half of the box, just to recap those, we pulled a Juan Soto Redemption and a Jake Cave Triple Relic, two bats and also a jersey. Also, Willie McCovey Bat Relic, a large piece of bat, and also an Alex Verdugo Autographed Bat Relic. So, not too bad out of those first uh, two packs, and we are going to continue with break A right now. Unfortunately, I didn't get all of my cases of leather and lumber in today. I only got this one. Um, so this is all that I have for you tonight. The rest of the breaks, breaks B and C, if you bought into those, those will be sometime this weekend, likely on maybe Sunday night. I kind of feel like Sunday night's kind of like a good time when nobody really uh, has that much going on. And uh, we could break that then along with Top's Definitive, which is supposedly going to be really awesome. So here are all the people that bought into this, and I sold it by division because the checklist just never came out. I, In fact, I still don't think it's out. So rather than selling by team and having certain teams without any hits or cards at all, I just decided to go by division. So Michael R's got the American League East. Jonathan H has the American League Central. Linda's got the American League West. Sean F has the National League East. Timothy M has the Central from the National League, and Darren C has the West from the National League. So let's get started um, breaking these open and see what else Panini has to offer us. Start with, uh, this is the second half of that box. JB's, how's it going? Leather and Lumber. I don't, we haven't pulled any leather yet. It's all been lumber so far. All right, here is the pack. The hits are usually in the middle of the pack, at least out of the first two packs that I've opened that we've seen. Try to get these out without touching the corners. I guess uh, we'll go like this. Maybe put it like that so you can't really see. And a little bit of suspense. I re was reading your comments that someone said they liked the suspense. First card up is a Barry Larkin Leather and Lumber Power Alley card. Uh, Barry Larkin former MVP and also Hall of Famer. That's pretty cool. All these cards are cut pretty nice, like these ones. Uh, so that's going to go to the National League Central. Uh, don't buy from Sports & More in Lancaster, PA. Complete criminals. Sports & More. Lawrence Gray. You'll have to let me know what happened. That really stinks. I went to Lancaster once, and uh, I checked out one of their card stores. I can't remember what it was, but I um, I definitely got some good deals there. There's Jonathan H with, with our very first super chat of the night. It says, got a penny pinch super chats because this break was expensive. Yes, Jonathan H bought the entire division, uh, I believe for the, what was it, the central? Although if I luck out, that may change. Jonathan H, good luck. All right, our next card is going to be, it is a leather and lumber Adrian Beltre card there. Adrian Beltre, not numbered for the Rangers. Next up, we have a Lumberjacks, Nelson Cruz for the Minnesota Twins, Nelly Cruz. Very nice. Twins are on fire. Um, last time I checked, they were the best team in baseball. And is this going to be our first hit or not? It is not our first hit. It's War. Wins above replacement card. Leather and Lumber, Jimmy Fox from Boston. Very nice. W. Voggs, how's it going? Looks like you got your name fixed up. That's pretty awesome. Brian Hoskins. Uh, $2 Super Chat, thank you very much, it says, enjoy your vids, keep up the great content. Thank you very much, Brian, really appreciate that. I hope you guys will go check him out and um, give him a sub. And we have our first leather signature of the day. It is a Kevin Newman rookie card, and you can see it's actually signed on leather. Um, you can see the black stitching there for the Pirates. Uh, I guess their colors are black and gold, so... Skimpy Auto says, Gary, Kevin Newman. Uh, Kevin Newman hit a grand slam, his first Major League homer recently. I can't remember if that was... Um, I'm just seeing it play on my computer right here because I have the Pirates website up. So Kevin Newman just hit a grand slam. And now we have... Uh, first hit, that goes to the NL Central. 
which is Timothy M. Congratulations, Timothy. You got the first hit out of that pack. By the way, there's two hits per pack, which is nice. Next, we have a quad relic. Thank you very much, Christopher, from Jose Reyes. 74 of 99, quad relic, Jose Reyes. That's going to our East, Sean F., National League East. There's the back of it in case you are wondering. It is game used material, Jose Reyes. And then the other cards, these are probably not going to be hits, but we'll check them out. Starling Marte, a gold proof, really cool looking card there. Up for Riggin says, What's your break page? I just saw them on Patreon. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's linked in the description. Um, Kevin Jones says, Crazy what passes for an auto these days. Yikes. Thank you very much for that super chat, Kevin Jones. And we definitely see some very lazy um, autographs. Nomar Mazar is the next one for our American League West, which would be Linda. Then we also have a JT Rail Muto. By the way, I don't know if you guys could see the texture here, but you can... Um, I guess you can see if the light's right. It has like a bat texture there, bat grain texture. See the grain on the car, which is pretty pretty interesting, pretty cool. And we have another super chat coming in. Andrew S. says, hey, guys, can't wait to see what's pulled. Good luck, everybody. Andrew S., thank you very much for that super chat. Everyone, click on his super chat if you please would and give him a sub. Really appreciate that. And our last card from that pack is a Max Scherzer glove card. And by the way, you can see like the glove um texture there and another super chat from zach says can't wait for break b got a few packs go bravos thank you very much zach don't know if you caught the beginning of the live stream break b is not going to be until this weekend because those cases did not come in unfortunately today only this case um from mr james mandavia who um supplies me with a lot of my cases um the other one did not come in so we're still waiting on that Probably be here sometime within the next couple days, along with my definitive case. Alrighty, so let's get to the next pack. It kind of feels weird calling this a pack. I want to call it a box, but... Alright, here's our next one. Let's get this open up. And Chasing Donnie Baseball says, Got my new green badge for becoming a member. Thank you very much, Chasing Donnie Baseball. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to check him out, uh, please go do so. Chasing Donnie Baseball. He's doing a nice throwback break of uh, 83 tops pretty soon. I think he's doing it on Friday, right after I do my throwback Thursday of 82 tops. All right, let's see. We got Joey Votto, seven times on base percentage leader. Benchmarks card is the first one. Not numbered, but still pretty cool. And then our next card is a Roy Campanella going way back to um, the Brooklyn Dodgers era. The Knothole Gang. Little insert set. We already pulled one of those earlier in the preview videos. Very nice, Roy Campanella. Brooklyn Dodgers, that would be the NL West. Um, next we have Ken Griffey Jr. Naturals card. It's a nice looking card. Check out the uh, texture on that. Almost looks like a fingerprint, but that is a bat grain texture. Ken Griffey Jr. Mariners, AL West. In case you're wondering about the back, I know a lot of people like me to show the backs when possible. There you go. Getting towards the uh, middle in the hits, Chris Bryant with the bat grain, leather and lumber power alley card. There's the back. And we're getting towards the hits. Here is a hit. It is a lumber hit. You can see it is actually signed on a bat relic. 71 of 99. Danny Jansen, lumber signatures. Pretty cool. Actually signed on the bat relic. Relic. We don't really ever see that. First time I think I've seen it. Um, really cool. 71 of 99. Catcher for the uh, young catcher for the Blue Jays, Danny Jansen. That obviously goes to the American League East. Michael R. gets that one. And our next one, Lone Star, how's it going? It's a Kyle Tucker. Young Houston Astros prospect. And we have an $18 Super Chat from D. Porter says... Hey, Eric, watched an older video of yours today where you got scammed with a fake Mike Trout rookie card on eBay. Did you ever end up getting your money back on it? Yep, D. Um, I confronted the seller, and they gave me my money back and never even asked for the card back, which makes you um, obviously realize that they knew they, what they were doing if they're not going to ask for the card back. Um, so I still have that fake card laying around here somewhere. Uh, thank you very much for that super chat. Um, hopefully you guys will click on D. Porter super chat there and give him a sub. Got to watch out for those 2011 Tops Update Mike Trout cards. 
Uh, make sure that there is foil on it so you don't get ripped off. So Kyle Tucker going to Linda W, American League West. Linda loves her Astros. That's one of her teams. And uh, there's the back of that. So Kyle Tucker, congrats, Linda. Got a couple more cards. Got an Adam Jones, and he is in his Arizona Diamondbacks uni right there. Pretty nice. Next one, we have, oh, what do we got here? Joey Wendell from the Tampa Bay Rays. Is Fall the Flip still alive? It's still alive. I just haven't had a chance to uh, list anything, but I've got so much stuff that whenever I get around to it, um, I've got a lot of stuff that I've been picking up at flea markets and just uh, all over the place. You've seen a lot of videos that will be going into that. Jacob DeGrom, I actually contacted somebody that said they knew somebody that had a bunch of mantles a dealer out there, so I'm hoping to buy the mantle sometime this summer. And Eric Hosmer, Eric Hosmer Leather and Lumber, and that is going to the NL West. And someone said that Jones is numbered. Yes, it is, 64 of 99. Or wait, yeah, there we go. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, there was one earlier today that I was really struggling with. It's tough to see because the uh, numbering was in gold. All right, so that's it for that's the first box. We did half of it in the preview video and half of it right now. Um, going Places says, these cards are different. I'm liking them a lot. Kyle, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, all right, let's get into our second box. I'm hoping we pull a big hit. Like uh, I would really like to get a bat relic of um, one of the older Hall of Famers. Like the uh, McCovey was pretty nice, but how about like a Babe Ruth or something like that? Um, I think um, the only checklist I saw was, I think Babe Ruth was on there with Harmon Killebrew and somebody else. What is Patreon says up for rigging? It's basically just like a, uh, it's almost like a blog type of website where I just post stuff on every now and then. It's kind of like a fan club. Basically, it's like a subscription where you pay a certain amount per month um, to have access to the site um, as little as $3 a month. All right, so here we go. Box number two of five. We're only doing five boxes, so this will be a short live stream. We'll probably be out of here before 10 o'clock, I would imagine. And um, I'm going to move these so I can set the cards down there. Steven says, I wonder how they smell. Tom, I just sent your Patreon package today. Brave the uh, rainstorm we had here. It was really crazy. The whole golf course flooded. The yard was flooding. There's like a river going through here. But yeah, yours is on the way. Thank you very much, Tom, for your support. And we have a new $25 Patreon. Nate, thank you very much, Nate. Just got the notification via email. Thanks for signing up, man. Um, if I can get this pack open. Well, that's what scissors are for. It's been some crazy weather the past week with tornadoes and everything across the Midwest. Dante says the box of these costs about $215 at his local card store. Sounds about right. I think the cheapest I saw anywhere was slightly over $200, and that was online. So, of course, you'd have to pay for the shipping. So you're probably going to pay about $215 when it's all said and done. Edwin Encarnacion is the first one out of this one. It is Seattle Mariners. Seattle Mariners Lumberjack. And it's numbered, by the way. It's out of 10. Six of 10. Seattle Mariners card. Very nice. Very nice. Let's put that in Linda's pile. Pretty nice that I can actually sort these as I'm going along. we got six piles here for each division. Another one for Linda. Lumberjacks again. Tim Shea. Tim Shea says, uh, Hey, Eric, played golf with Ken Maka today. Cool guy. Thank you very much, Tim. Ken Maka, former manager of the Oakland Athletics. I think also he managed the Brewers. Um, I, actually, he's from Murraysville, Pennsylvania, and I went to one of his um, camps, baseball camps, when I was like 14. So thank you very much, Tim, for that super chat. Really awesome. And incredible CJ Collectibles. $2 super chat says, These cards are sweet. Good luck all in the break. Incredible CJ. Thank you very much for that $2 super chat. So Tim and CJ... Check those guys out. Click on those Super Chats. And also, Preston Sports. Love the channel. Just put on my first case break. Thank you, Preston. So check out all those guys. Thank you for the Super Chats. We got a Mookie Betts card here. MVP award winner card. Not numbered. 357 MAGA comes in with a $5 Super Chat. Says, rest in peace, Bill Buckner. Dementia is a horrible disease. Eric, do you have Buckner's 70 tops rookie card? I don't think I have that one. Um... Not whole gang, Ozzy Albies. It's a pretty. I think he's on there with somebody else, isn't he? It's like a prospect card. 
Um, thank you very much for that $5 super chat. And rest in peace, Bill Buckner. Throughout the years of the, uh, the decade, 70s and 80s, only one person had more hits than Bill Buckner, and that was Pete Rose, and it wasn't by much. Check this one out. We have an autograph. It's a Jason Kipnis. It is a leather and lumber. I don't know what the uh, subset is yet. Jason Kipnis, 17 of 25. Jason Kipnis, Cleveland Indians second baseman. Jonathan H., you're getting this one. You were just in here earlier, so there's another hit for you. Um, congratulations on that one, Jason Kipnis. Next up, we have another hit coming for you. It's a Shoyotani, Shoyotani triple relic. Pretty nice, 16 of 99, Shoyotani. Uh, Shoyotani, of course, is back playing now after missing about the first month or so of the season, recovering from Tommy John. Can't pitch, but he can still hit. Uh, Tom, I have not seen the news about the flooding in Oklahoma. Hope, hopefully you're okay. I know you're from Oklahoma. It's been pretty crazy across the country. Uh, Shoyotani, and that is... Um, player used material. That one's going to Linda. Congratulations, Linda, on your Shohei Otani hit. And we still have a couple more cards here. We have Chris Bryant. This is a gold proof. There's the back of that bad boy. Next up, we have Jose Altuve. This one is leather and lumber. Just the nice bat background. I like these cards a lot. These are pretty sick. Like the texture in the background. We also have a John Lester with a little bit of a white edge on there. John Lester with the glove. Pretty cool. Lots of Cubs so far in this pack, or last couple packs. Last three out of the center are all Cubs players. And then Eddie Rosario going to Jonathan H., the bat background with the nice wood grain texture. And Kyle with a $4.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Kyle. Let's check out this note. Let me scroll back up. It says, I donate every live stream. And like I always say, money well spent. Thank you again for everything you do. Kyle, thank you very much for that super chat. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys will go check Kyle's channel out and give him a sub as I toss that empty box aside. And a $25 super chat. Check this out from Chasing Donnie Baseball. It says, thanks for the 83 tops break. Shout out, Eric. Friday at 8 p.m. if you sell all the packs. Just 12 more to go. If interested, see Comets, my beagle, New vid on my channel. Yeah, I watched that video. It was kind of like a uh, pack. Uh, it was a preview video where you, you're filming your dog and talked about your break. So, guys, he's got 12 more packs. He's selling them by the pack. And uh, I forget what you were selling them for, like $12.99 a pack or something like that. Uh, free shipping. A really good deal for 83 tops packs from an authenticated sealed box. So, Chasing Donnie Baseball, thank you for that $25 super chat. And uh, looking forward to uh, checking out how you doing that 83 tops break? I'll be doing one of those probably within the next month or two also. I haven't done 83 tops yet in my series, so that's on my list of ones I want to do. I hope you find all three of the uh, rookie cards in there. Gwen Boggs and Sandberg. So check out Chasing Donnie Baseball. All right, next pack, we have a war card of Frank Robinson back with the Reds. And we have a $5 super chat from the card hobby. It says, thanks Jabs for getting me back into the hobby and making videos again. Uh, you're welcome. Everyone check out the card hobbyist. Check, uh, just click on that $5 super chat and give him a sub. Glad to have you back into the hobby and making videos. Shoei Otani, 2018 Rookie of the Year. Benchmark card. There's the back of it, not numbered, but uh, still really Cool. Matt M. Baseball, how's it going? Says he loves the war cards. Wins above replacement. I've seen, I think, two of those so far. A. Eugenio Suarez, not whole gang, with the nice lumber grain. What do we got next? We're getting towards the hits. We have a Juan Soto. Comfort cards. There he is. Comfort cards, benefactor, Patreon. Uh, go Rockies. Thank you very much, Darren. Everyone check out Darren's channel. He does a lot of pack breaks, so I know a lot of us are, you know, kind of pushed for time. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, if you want to watch a nice, quick video, he does a lot of quick rips of one pack, so check out Darren's channel. And Darren, I sent you two of uh, your Patreon packages today. You get two boxes. Uh, Jake Bowers is the next one. Rookie Signatures, first base when this is signed on some leather. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see the texture there, but that is a piece of leather from a baseball. And Jake Bowers is one of the Indians players. I think he's hitting like 215 this year. Not off to a great start, but um, I had him on my fantasy team. Just ended up actually dropping him like two days ago. 
62 of 149. That one's also going to Jonathan. Congratulations, Jonathan, on yet another hit. Jake Bowers. And um, it doesn't really say if these um, if the leather is actually from a game used baseball. I don't think it is. I imagine it's just a piece of uh, like stock leather. But it would have been really cool if they would have used actual game balls. Do I play golf? No, I've uh, only played golf once in my life on an actual 18-hole course. Austin Hayes is our next hit. It is a double lumber relic and also a jersey relic. 46 of 299, Austin Hayes. That one goes to the AL East. Michael R., congratulations on your Austin Hayes leather and lumber hit. And we have a couple more cards here from the top of the pack. We have our gold proof. It's a Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt from the cards. What else do we have here? Jose Urania from the Marlins. Not numbered. He doesn't get along very well with Ronald Acuna, if you remember that whole brush up last year. And then JT Real Muto again for the second time. It's our second Real Muto. The bean baller says Carb Hobbyist. Yet yeah, he went right after Acuna. That was when Acuna was on fire. Matt Carpenter, St. Louis Cardinals. So that's the last one. All right, so that's it for that box. Moving on to the next one. Wow, it's getting hot in here. Going to crank open the window, so if you hear some bats flying around out there, it's, um, it's why it's... You're hearing that sound. It's not anything going on in the house. It's just really hot in here. I don't want to have the problem my brother has with his phone overheating. We have a DMC Sports $2 Super Chat. That says, love your break, Eric. Check uh, out my content. It's similar. DMC Sports, thank you very much. Check them out, guys. Click on that $2 Super Chat. Similar content, so you must do some baseball cards and breaks. Timbo says, tornado in Eastern PA. Yeah, we had some uh, uh, tornado warnings here also this week. We had a big supercell move through a couple days ago over the mountains. It was actually really a really awesome sight to see. It was all blue skies everywhere, and it was just this giant black cloud with lightning every like second. Uh, pretty crazy weather this month. Hopefully everyone is staying safe. Um and out of harm's way. Mike Trout, Power Alley is the first one out of the pack. Let's put that one in Linda's pile. DMC. Yeah, I think I got DMC, didn't I? My wife is making... Sh I'm way you, yeah, I got DMC. You might want to just refresh your stream. My wife is watching on her phone. Jose Altuve, three-time batting champion card. I think we've seen that one once already. Then we have a Lumberjacks, Reese Hoskins. I like these Lumberjack cards. They're pretty cool cards. Shaped like a tree, if you haven't noticed yet already. Lots of Phillies cards so far. About half that stack is Phillies. Then we have a Nolan Arenado, Leather and Lumber. Nice. And now it's time to get to the hits. First one is Kyle Wright from the Braves out of uh, 99. 26 of 99, Kyle Wright. And um, it is signed on a piece of bat. Pretty cool. Matt M says, I credit Panini for trying something different here. Yep, this is a new set. They haven't had leather and lumber since, I think, um, late late 90s, like mid-90s, early 2000s. It's been a while. They brought it back. No, haven't got the AC fixed yet. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get around to that. i got to call repairman. Corey Seager is the next one. For the Dodgers, it is a double bat relic and also a jersey. Not number, but still pretty cool. Going to the Dodgers, that's Darren C's card since he's got the whole NL West. 2006 was, was, was the last leather and lumber. Joshua, thank you very much for the good info. Joey Wendell again for the Rays. Um, Eric Hosmer for the Pods. What else we have here? Madison Bumgarner. That one's also going to Darren NL West. And the last card here is a Jose Abreu. Leather and Lumber for the White Sox. That'll go to Jonathan H's pile. So that's it for that box. Frisbee that across the office. Matt M says, Austin Meadows has been amazing. He's also from the same town I grew up in, just like Clint Frazier. Yep, that is going to haunt us Bucko fans for probably the next decade, that trade. Austin Meadows, Tyler Glass, Dylan, and Shane Baz for Chris Archer. Chris Archer's got like a 570-something earned run average around there. Not exactly, but 550 to 580-something in ERA. It's just been bad all season long. And in, in the meantime, Austin Meadows is looking like a champ down there in Tampa Bay. 
All right, next pack. Let me find the seam here. Joshua says, Clint Frazier, what can you say about the man? He's amazing. I remember getting Clint Frazier's autograph back uh, the year after he was drafted at Tribe Fest um, up at Progressive Field. It was probably like, I don't know, four or five years ago. Just a young kid. Big uh, mop of red hair. There was no one in his line at all. He was like the only guy sitting there that didn't have a line, so I was like, all right, let's go get his autograph. Ended up being Clint Fraser. I think the other guy with him might have been Tyler Naquin. Can't remember. Mitch Keller got his butt rocked in his debut, says Tim English. Yes, he did. Six runs and four innings, I believe. Incredible CJ with a $5 super chat says, I want to see a Bellinger tonight. I'm nearing 500, everyone. Help me out. I do breaks as well. Not as awesome as jabs, but still fun and fairly pricey. Incredible CJ collectibles. Thank you very much for that super chat. Hope you guys will check him out uh, and give him a sub. There's a Ricky Henderson, Oakland Athletic Naturals card. Next up, we have Lorenzo Kane from the Brew Crew Power Alley card. Pretty nice. Put that one there. After that, we have another Yachty card. We pulled this one already. It was numbered before. This one's not numbered. I had to like, I thought that that was like a scuffed corner for a second. It's just a piece of his foot there. I did a, dub I did a double take. Then we have Jose Abreu, Jose Abreu Lumberjacks. Nice card there for Jonathan H. And now we're getting to the hits. Our first hit is a Kevin Kramer. Kevin Kramer Lumber Signatures. So another Buckos card, rookie card, Kevin Kramer. It is out of 149. 131 of 149, Kevin Kramer. Signature on a nice piece of bat. Steven, thank you very much. Um, thank you for watching. That one's going to our Central National League owner, Timothy M. And the next one we have, this one is a Delano DeShields Jr. triple uh, relic there. Delano DeShields Jr. from the Texas Rangers. You probably remember his dad if you're about my age, Delano DeShields. Zach Garner with a $5 Super Chat says, are you happy with the cost versus content so far? Seems like uh, for around $60 plus dollars per pack, I was expecting some much bigger hits than what we've seen. Yeah, well... You know what? You're probably right there. I'm expecting probably, I don't know what I was expecting. I was hoping to get some uh, nice cut signatures and stuff like that. I'm not going to uh, give my opinion until we're done with the break, but we'll see. So far, Kristen Yelich, this one goes to the Brewers. So far, the uh, hits are kind of uh, average at best. Not a lot of huge names yet. Jose Berrios. See these other ones. We'll just get right through them. Uh, Nomar Mazzara and Freddie Freeman are the last two. Neither one is numbered. So that one is empty. Three boxes left. Frisbee that one across the room. How much does the box cost of these? Um, about $215 ish, somewhere around there. A little over $200. You could buy a whole case of these. Uh, 10 boxes are in a case. I bought a half case from James Mandavia. Uh, full case, 10 boxes is about $22.50 at, um, I think that's the cheapest I've seen it, Steel City Collectibles, $22.50, $2,250 for 10 boxes, which is about $225 a box, which is kind of crazy. All right, here we go. Hard time to read the names. It's probably just because of the texture of the cards. I'll try to, uh. I'll try to show. It's hard for me to read them too, actually. The uh, the light has to catch the uh, printing at just the right angle there. All right, here we go. Next pack, quote unquote pack. Comfort cards have seen them for two thousand dollars a case. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, I wish I would have seen them for two thousand dollars. Per case, I paid uh, for my other case. I paid twenty two fifty from Diamond Cards, and uh, it still hasn't showed up yet. But hopefully, it's going to be here. I did get a notification today that it shipped today, so I'll probably be here by Saturday. Sometimes, if you pre-order them like a month or two in advance, you can get that price. It's always worse to wait like a a week before the break. It's, Chasing Donnie Baso, that's what I'm saying. I would have definitely jumped on $2,000. Would have saved me 250 bucks off my other case. All right, here we go. 
Matt M. Baseball Cards finally got a new video uploaded tonight. Glad to see you're back on the upload grind. All right, here we go. Cody Bellinger. Someone was just asking for Bellinger. There we go. Not whole gang. Uh, Cody Bellinger. Nice one. After that, we have a Barry Larkin again. Naturals card, Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Jonathan H. with a $5 Super Chat says, This Super Chat is for Mrs. Jabs. Thanks for allowing Eric to do this constantly and for helping him. Thank you very much for that Super Chat. I'm sure my wife is watching. She's in the uh, TV room right now. She's not in here. My office is pretty cramped um, just because there's like boxes everywhere and there's no really place to sit and watch. But she's watching right now and um, I'm sure she'll be thanking you if she is still watching. Hopefully she's not too bored by this product. Kristen Yelich, Leather and Lumber. So far, the uh, National League Central has the most cards. Ichiro, two-time batting champion for Seattle, as I'm sorting these as we go. Now it's time to get to the hits. We have a Kevin Kramer. So Kevin Kramer must have signed a lot of stuff for Panini. Kevin Kramer autograph. So we had Kevin Newman, Kevin Kramer, I think Kevin Kramer twice. Timothy M, you're getting uh, a lot of... Um, Pirates hits, 140 out of 149, rookie card. J1 says, I like three of your comments today. Yep, I went through and uh, read all the comments from the last, like, three days. I was a little behind. Next up, we have a Stephen Piscotti double relic. It is a bat and also a jersey. It is numbered 7 of 99. Stephen Piscotti. That one's going to Linda W with the American League West. You can see that it is player used material, not game used. And um, so... Maybe he used the bat in batting practice. I don't know. Still pretty cool. Steven Piscotti for Linda. And let's go through the rest of these ones. That is a super thick card. All right, the rest of the cards in the pack, we have a Christian Yelich again. A Corey Kluber. I think that's the first time we've seen this Kluber card, leather and lumber card. Then a Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. And last but not least, we have our gold proof card. That's an Austin Meadows uh, we were just talking about Austin Meadows about five minutes ago. Austin Meadows for the Rays. All right, so next one is Zeke Man. $1.99 Super Chat says, imagine a card uh, with video that plays in a window. That would be pretty interesting. Zeke Man, thank you very much for that Super Chat. Really appreciate that. Camvet wants to do trivia. Uh, you mean you have a trivia question for us? Uh, by all means, go ahead. Uh, all the giveaway stuff. If you're asking for um, like giveaways, that won't be till Fan Melt Friday. What do these sell per mini box? You mean um, one of these, like a pack? I'm guessing, I don't know, 60 to $70, probably somewhere in there. Here we go. $2 Super Chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball says, Eric, how will we store protect these cards? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. These cards are a little thicker than usual. I don't know if you can see the uh, size there, but I don't know. I'm just going to probably... You can fit these in penny sleeves for sure. The hits, I have um, some extra thick um, sleeves to keep those in. I also always have my share of super thick top loaders laying around. These ones are ready to go. What are these? 120.1. Uh, so I'm going to have to get some super thick ones. I don't think I have... Any of the ones that are going to hold that Piscotti. And wow, check this out. A $20 super chat from Anthony E. Says, happy Wednesday, E-Man. Almost to 60 subs because of you. Love you, buddy. Anthony E. sent us some really nice fan mail recently. In fact, a lot of the giveaways came from Anthony's um, box a couple weeks ago. So check his channel out. Let's see if we can get Anthony to 100. There's 372 you guys watching. Uh, so if about 40 you could just jump on that $20 Super Chat right now. Just click on the $19.99. Click go to channel and just hit the subscribe button. And you can come on back so you won't miss anything. Really appreciate that. Miguel Cabrera Lumberjacks card is the first one out of this pack. Scott says, any more ball hawking videos coming? I don't know if I want to do those anymore. People don't seem to really like those as much as they do the uh, hobby boxes and card pack openings. Javier Baez. I haven't really even been to that many games at all. Last game I went to, I split my shin open and haven't been back since. Christopher C. with a $1.99 Super Chat says, Love your channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, Christopher. Hope you guys will check him out also. Uh, Not Whole Gang. Starling Marte. Nice one. Marte is one of my favorite players. 
And then we have Yogi Berra from the New York Yankees, three-time MVP award winner, Yogi Berra. I'm really hoping we pull like an Aaron Judge or Mickey Mantle or Babe Ruth relic or autograph out of one of these. We'll see. Next up we have, this is a leather. It is a rookie leather signature. Um, this is a Caleb Ferguson. So it's actually signed on a piece of a glove or glove-like material. 133 out of 149, Caleb Ferguson. That one's going to the Dodgers owner, Darren C. Very nice. There's the back of it. Just tells you the autograph is guaranteed by Panini. Caleb Ferguson, 133 of 149, going to Darren. And there's one more hit. This is going to be our relic. It's a Rivals card, and thank goodness they're both in the same division. Otherwise, I would have had to uh, do some kind of raffle or something. We got Chris Sale from the American League East and Blake Stell from the American League East. Dual relic there. Uh, 19 of 25. Chris Sale starting to turn it back around after a horrible start to the season for him. Struck out 17 guys in seven innings last week. Nice card. And also we have the Blake Snell relic there. Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell. So that one's going to Michael R. All right, let me get the rest of these cards. So we can show off these to you. Now that we've got the hits out of the way, we've got Joey Votto. Put that in the stack. Garrett Cole who's um, striking out everybody. There's um, Tim English. Check out that website. If you want to see the break standings, go here. He's got a, a website. He's the uh, break statistician. He keeps track of all the hits. So you can see who's number one all time in hits pulled from the packs. Andrew Benatendi from the Red Sox. Really cool thing. I guess you can probably figure out who number one is, but do you know who number two, three, four is? Where do you stand on the list? You might want to check out that website and see. Miguel Andujar, who's out for the season from the Yankees, is the last card. All right, so let's um, toss that box aside. Next one. Let's see what we have in here. The man says, these cards remind me of the old Sweet Spot Signature Series cards from Upper Deck. I wouldn't mind if Upper Deck came back. I feel like the more competition we have in the market, the better. Might cause everyone to up their game. Give us more stuff to open. But again, that was part of the problem with the uh, downfall of the card industry. There's just so many sets being released all over the place and uh, kind of hard to keep track of everything going on. Matt M says, Linda has a career jabs breaks batting average of 440. That is pretty amazing. Yep, she's up there for sure. All right, our first card out of this one, we got a Manny Machado from the Padres. A lot of people don't like Manny Machado, probably even more than ever now that Dustin Pedroia's career appears to be over. Kyle Schwarber from the Cubs. Dustin Pedroia had a press conference two days ago where he said he's probably never going to play again. He's just not making any progress. Um, he might have to uh, call it quits. Alex Rodriguez, Leather and Lumber War. That one Matt M will like for sure. Texas Rangers. Nice card there. And uh, by the way, the whole um, problem with the knee started with a hard slide by Manny Machado a couple years ago um, into Dustin Pedroia, and he just hasn't been the same since that slide. Greg Maddox, 109 complete games. Benchmarks card. That was with the Braves. Next hit, this is going to be our autograph. Okay, here we go, guys. That's what we wanted. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., American League East. That's what I'm looking for. Vladdy Jr., autograph on some glove. Really nice. And it's numbered out of 99. 9 of 99 Vladdy Jr. rookie leather signatures. Really nice. American League East, um, there's lots of possibilities coming out of that. We haven't seen the checklist, but I mean... Each of those teams is so loaded with talent that you knew you were going to get something good out of a, a case of these. American League East was probably the best choice uh, to go, Michael R. I think you've only gotten, what, two, three hits? But this is probably your best one. This is the best one of the night by far. Vladdy Jr. And we have a $2 Super Chat. Polly Junkwax says, thank you for being awesome. Just getting back in. Polly Junkwax, thank you very much. Joe iPhone, I sold this by division just because... Um, the checklist was never out, so I didn't want to sell teams that didn't have any cards in the set. Trotters, $1.99 Super Chat says, enjoy the vids. Thank you very much. Vladdy Jr., Joe iPhone, what's this worth? Any idea? 
I know these just hit the market today, so the uh, market might not have solidified yet for a Vladdy Jr. Uh, leather autograph out of 99. But uh, really nice. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Very, very nice. Put that in Michael R. Michael R., congrats. All right, next up we have David Fletcher from the um, Angels. I don't know why. I almost said Anaheim Angels. It was on the Los Angeles Angels. David Fletcher, 2 of 99. That was annoying back in the day when they were the California Angels, then the Los Angeles Angels, then the Anaheim Angels, then the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It was like every year they were calling themselves something different. David Fletcher, very nice. That one's going to Linda for the American League West. We have two boxes left for whoever just asked that. Here's the rest of those cards, by the way. Check out the rest of these. We have Jamison Tyone, who's on the 60-day disabled list right now. We also have Willie Adames, who's on my fantasy team. Been a rough year for him. If there was some more uh, guys available, I'd probably release him. Glaber Torres, Glaber Day, very nice. A mess of things. $2 Super Chat says, working, but just came in to say hi. 13 balls in two games. A mess of things. You're killing it. Good job out there in Oakland. Not an easy stadium to ball hawk in. Thank you for that super chat. Hope you guys will check out a mess of things. And by the way, Joe iPhone says the last Vlad Guerrero auto numbered like that sold for $399. So um, Michael R. just got more than all of his money back, all his money back, and then some. Uh, hopefully it sells for $400, or you might just want to keep it. Matt Olson's last one. This is, by the way, numbered 52 of 99. Matt Olson. Going to Linda's stack there. And we have a $5 super chat from 618 Sports Card. It says, got some pretty nice cards coming your way for a future Fan Mail Friday. Thank you for rekindling my love of collecting baseball cards. 618 Sports Cards, thank you very much for that super chat. Hope you guys will go check him out. Fan Mail Friday coming up in two more days. We'll be doing more giveaways. Um, if you guys want me to do the game show format again, we can do that. I think we had like 96 participants in that game show. The top 10 got to choose their prize. Joe iPhone says, are you doing another break anytime soon? Interested in getting in on one? Um, trying to think. This break here, this particular break, Leather and Lumber, sold out in less than an hour on Patreon. All three breaks were gone within an hour. So I don't have anything uh, on the horizon. Probably the next break I'm going to do is going to be Top's Finest. I'll be listing that likely this weekend sometime. Top's Finest comes out next week. And... Um, I've already got, I think I have two cases ordered. They're from different sellers again. And one of the sellers says he already has the case and is going to ship it my way tomorrow. So looking forward to getting that. Of course, I'm not going to receive it till next week. But all right, here's our next box. The Fonz, you're making me hungry. All right, we have a Trevor Story, nine, uh, or no. It's really tough to see those numbers. 88 of 99, not whole gang. And then we have... A Babe Ruth, New York Yankees war card. Pretty nice. Did Hart Packers says the Vlad is worth $400. So Joe iPhone right on the money. That Vladimir Guerrero is a $400 card. Very, very nice. Gil Hodges. I would say if you're going to buy, um, if you're going to buy a team or if you can find one, buy, buy, buy the division, I'd probably go the AL East because I just feel like there's going to be some good Yankees hits. Like I feel like the case hits are going to be like Yankees, like legends. Uh, Robinson Cano, New York Mets. And we also have um, Matt Barnes. Autograph card is our next hit. Matt Barnes, Boston Red Sox. Very nice card right there. It is going to Michael R., Check out the back of that one. Very nice card. Mighty Goat is in here. Mighty, you just missed our... Let me show Mighty the best card of the night. $400 card right here. People have looked it up already. It is this one again. For those of you just coming in along with Mighty Goat, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Leather autograph. Uh, selling for about $400 on eBay right now. Pretty nice. Vladimir Guerrero is still... A hot commodity and probably will be for a while. And check this one out. Eddie Murray. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Leather and Lumber. It is numbered 195 of 249. 
double relic right there. Eddie Murray, awesome switch hitter. That one's going to, what team's he on there? Baltimore on that one, so that's going to the uh, American League East. Back-to-back -back Super Chats, triple Super Chats. 357 Maga says, did you retire from ball hawking? Um, not yet. I'm taking a hiatus. I don't know if I'm going to retire permanently or not. Zach Garner says, any definitive spots left? Yep, there's two spots left. And Brian Robison with a 99-cent Super Chat. Thank you very much, guys. Let's check out the last of these cards. I haven't put the... Um, I put Definitive on shell, sale like two months ago or a month and a half ago. Then they pushed it back. Chris Sale, Trevor Story, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. And then here's our gold uh, proof card, Kyle Freeland. Very nice stuff there. So Definitive, there's crazy stuff coming out of those Definitive boxes. A case of Definitive now has been going up and up and up in value, um, or at least cost to buy, just because of the stuff coming out of there. So it's a good thing that Topps delayed it a month and beefed it up a lot. JBs, thanks for stopping in. Where are the definitive spots on sale? I'm going to put them on sale on my Patreon page probably sometime this weekend when I put um, Top's Finest on sale. And we also have a 996 Super Chat from Chasing Donnie Baseball. 25 short of 300 subs. Thank you for all the love, everyone. Can I hit 300 before the lights go out? Chasing Donnie Baseball. Check them out, guys. Almost at 300 subs. That's a very rapid climb there. Um, does great stuff on his channel. Thank you for that super chat. Hope you guys will go check him out and get him to his goal. And we have another one coming in here. It is Eric Malstead. Says, hey, Eric, how is everyone? Thank you very much for the $2 super chat, Eric. Doing pretty well tonight. We've got basically two more boxes left now. These four mini boxes. I don't know if I should call these packs or mini boxes, but we got these four and then four more after this. Total of eight more. Matt M says, everyone check out Mighty Goat's second channel, Claire and Drew. Yep, awesome channel. Make sure you check out both of his channels. If you don't know about Mighty Goat, then where have you been for the past, like, two, three years? Awesome channel. If you love baseball, he uh, he basically does it all. Lots of in-real-life stuff, lots of MLB The Show. Just an entertaining channel to watch. And uh, hopefully a lot of you guys, if you haven't already... Probably all 395 of you are already subscribed to Mighty Goat, but if you're not, check him out. All right, let's check out this pack. We've got a Lumberjacks Aaron Judge on the top, Lumberjacks card. Nice die-cut card. Then we have our Benchmarks card here, Max Scherzer, three-time strikeout leader. What do we got next? Hits are in the middle of the, each of these packs. Mitch Hanniger, off to a little bit of a rough season, striking out a lot, but we'll see if he... Comes back around. Seattle Mariners, not whole gang. Then we have um, Ronald Acuna Jr. from the Braves. Ronald Acuna Jr. Naturals card. Very, very nice. Very nice. And now we get to the hits. Check this one out. We have a Garrett Hampson. Garrett Hampson from the Rockies. I know Darren will like that one. Uh, he's got the National League West, and he loves the Rockies. It's 51 of 75. Garrett Hampson rookie card on some baseball leather there. Pretty cool. There's the back in case you're wondering what that looks like. Garrett Hampson plays a little bit of infield, second base, third base. How about this one? We have Andrew Benatendi flashing the leather. This is the first time we've seen this relic subset. Flashing the leather. And there's a piece of Andrew Benatendi's glove, it looks like. That would be pretty cool. I know a lot of players aren't really willing to give up their gloves, so we'll have to see if this is actually game used. Flashing the leather, Andrew Benatendi... 47 of 299, a little bit of a soft corner there, which is sometimes you see that with a lot of these relics, unfortunately. Here's the back. Sometimes on the back, it tells you if it's game used. It's player used. So Andrew Benatendi at one time wore this glove, not necessarily in a game. Might, might have worn it in batting practice. Might have just tried it on for a little time, played catch with it. Who knows? But Andrew Benatendi, piece of Benatendi's glove. Pretty cool. That one's going to the American League East. Michael R., congratulations on that one. Let's show you the rest of the cards from that pack. Uh, Jose Altuve. Jackie Bradley Jr. Always tough to see because of the glove texture. By the way, if you're new to the uh, live stream, these all have bat textures or glove textures. You can see the grain on the cards, which is pretty neat. AJ Pollock. And Anthony Rizzo is the last one. So let me get these put in their correct piles. And on to the next box. Almost whipped that one across the room. Still cards in here. Can't throw this one yet. Let me 
All right, let's see here. Is there a Throwback Thursday tomorrow? Yes, there will be a Throwback Thursday. I'll probably put that for sale on my Patreon tomorrow sometime. All right, I'm gonna have to cut this one open. I don't wanna like struggle with the pack and then mess up this Javier Baez car that you can see. I kind of wish the packs were silver or, you know, not see-through, so it'd be more of a surprise, at least that first card coming out. Kind of hide that back there, so. All right, we have Javier Baez again, Power Alley. We've already seen that card at least once. Then we have um, Justin Verlander, five-time strikeout leader, Dane's Collection. $2 Super Chat says, hello, everyone. Dane's Collection, thank you very much for that Super Chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys will give him a sub. And then we also have Paul Goldschmidt, Lumberjacks card. Really nice. Joe iPhone says we should do another 89 Upper Deck throwback Thursday. We'll do one of those in the coming months. Francisco Lindor, Cleveland Indians, Leather and Lumber card. Put that one in that stack. And now we get to the hits. First one, we have a Corbin Burns, Toronto, or not Toronto, Milwaukee Brewers, on leather auto, I almost want to say on card auto. On leather auto, Corbin Burns rookie card. Check out the back. That one's going to our NL Central, Timothy M. Corbin Burns. I think the hit pile is bigger than uh, all the base card pile. Blue threads. Yeah, they do the team color on the threads for all these. Next up, we have Francisco Mejia. I do believe he's on the DL right now for the Padres, but young catcher came over from the Indians in a trade for Brad Hand. Double Relic, very, very nice. It is numbered 227 of 349. He's one of the top prospects in baseball. I think he's the top catching prospect, so hopefully we will um, see him do very well soon. Uh, Eric Malstead, did you get two Super Chats from me? I got charged twice on my card. I hope so. I definitely saw at least one of them. Um, I might have missed one, but... I'll have to go back and check the live chat later. Eric, thank you very much for the super chat. We'll have to go back and I look at the replay after the uh, live stream. Usually at the, the replay will have all your live chats coming up. And um, yeah, if you did get charged twice, just contact YouTube and they will um, give you a refund there. Joey Wendell, we had that happen once before where somebody super chatted $100. It was Jeffrey and he only meant to do a dollar. So he contacted YouTube. They gave him his money right back. Alex Bregman is the next one. Then we have a JT Real Muto. That's the third Real Muto card. And our last one is going to be our gold proof card, Matt Olsen, last one from that pack. So that's it for that box. We have six boxes left, or six mini boxes left to go. And then I'm probably going to run out to the store and get myself some Raisin Bran because um, we're out of that and I am super hungry. I don't feel like eating any more goldfish crackers. All right, next pack. You can see there's a Whit Merrifield on the back. Always lose that surprise factor for that last card. Matt M likes Raisin Brand Crunch. Keston here is going to be a solid second baseman for the Brew Crews, says a lone star. Yep, he's definitely one of their top prospects. Looking forward to seeing what he has in store for us. Whit Merrifield is that. First card, going to the KC Royals and Jonathan. Then we have Naturals, Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is coming back around after a rough start to the season. He's upped his batting average to over 290, about eight home runs. Glad to see that as he's on my fantasy team. Then we have Roy Campanella from Brooklyn. That's going to the Dodgers, so that'll go to Darren. Brooklyn Dodgers. Now it's, we're getting towards the hits. We have Mike Trout, seven-time All-Star. Mike Trout, that's a nice-looking card, benchmark card. Mike Trout going to Linda. And here's our hits. See what the hits are. We got a Rivals card, and luckily it's from the same division again. And we have back-to-back -back Super ch Chats. Preston Sports says, this community is awesome. Thanks to Jab's family. Thank you very much, Preston Sports. And Chasing Donnie Baseball, $4.99 for the Raisin Brand. Enjoy. Thank you, Chasing Donnie Baseball, for buying me a box of Raisin Brand. So check out Preston Sports and Chasing Donnie Baseball, guys. Uh, very nice Super Chats. Appreciate that a lot. So we got Ronald Acuna Jr. It's a relic there. Nice uh, stripe relic. 
and also Juan Soto. This is a pretty cool card. You got the uh, Rookie of the Year and the runner-up for Rookie of the Year right on the same card, Rivals card, and they're both in the NL East, so they're both going to Sean F. Here's the back of the card, by the way. Uh, you can see their pictures there, and then um, let's see if it says Player Used Material. I know a lot of people always like me to double-check that. All right, next we have a triple relic of Alex Verdugo. That's kind of dumb. I mean, not that card, but there's no autograph in this one, this pack it looks like. Incredible CJ Collectibles, $5 Super Chat, says, Jabs is the best. Hoping to see a huge Yankees hit. That's what I'm hoping for, too. He's 80 away from 500, and my friend Great Lakes Breaks is 9 away from 500. Help them out, guys. Thank you very much for that Super Chat. Help them get to 500, guys, if you could. Uh, thank you for that Super Chat. Alex Verdugo, Triple Relic, going to Darren. And, uh, yeah, no autograph in this box. It does say there's one... Um, autograph per box on average from each pack. Um, in each box, there's four. You can see it down there. Four autographs and four memorabilia cards on average. So it looks like we're getting uh, three and five out of that box. At least the Acuna and Soto is a pretty nice card. I guess that's better than getting, like, um, I don't know, another, like, um, kind of, like, average rookie that's not really worth that much. We got Bryce Harper for the first time. Leather and lumber, by the way. Check out the grain on that. Pretty sick. I'd be interested to see if the grain's always different or it's always the same. Manny Machado, glove texture card. Mike Moustakis from the Brew Crew. And Carlos Rodon from the White Sox. And by the way, that's number 98 of 99. And Polly Junkwax with a dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Polly. Check him out. Sounds like he might have a channel doing some junk wax cards. So give him a sub. Thank you very much. Toss that box aside. We're down to five, five mini boxes left to go. Just five left. And then the really interesting break is going to be Sunday night where we do definitive. Hopefully it comes in by then. It's supposed to. And also we'll do the other um, ten boxes of leather and lumber that, that night also. So Sunday night's going to be a big night. All right, let's um, not even gonna attempt to open this one without my scissors. I've needed the scissors on basically every pack so far. So far, the big hit of the night has been the Vladdy Jr. on leather autograph. Hide those so we can take each card at a time. We got Javier Baez, 59.99. That's the first card. Next one up, we have Christian Yelich from the Not Whole Gang. Pretty nice looking card there. Central's uh, winning right now. We've got the most NL Central cards. Alex Rodriguez, three-time MVP award winner. And when he's on the Yankees, that goes to the AL East. Um, then we have a war card. Rox is your machine jabs. Best breaks on YouTube, hands down. Thank you very much, Rox. Thanks for watching. We have Clayton Kershaw War for the Dodgers. $2 Super Chat from Kevin Jones says, Any hints on next Worst Cards Ever series? Um, a lot of you guys probably can pretty much predict the top five already, I would say. Um, just have to stay tuned for that. We usually do this on, like, Mondays or Tuesdays. Next, we have our hit, Rowdy Telez on leather autograph there. First baseman for the Blue Jays, 44 of 125. Card Collector 65 JW says, Jabs, thanks for the subs the other night. You're welcome. Thank you very much for that $2 Super Chat. Hope everyone will check out Card Collector 65 JW and um, give him some subs. Rowdy Telez, let's put that in the hit pile. Going to Michael R. in the East. And we have another Shoyotani Triple Relic. That's the second Triple Shoei Relic we've pulled. This one's also going to Linda. Shoyotani Player Used Triple Relic. Shohei Otani. All right. That's it for the hits in that box. Let's check out these base cards. Mike G just opened a box to 87 tops. We got absolutely nothing. Must have been searched. If it was, hopefully it was searched a long time ago because I can't imagine anyone searching a box that nowadays. Sorry about your luck. That really stinks. Miguel Cabrera. Uh, Andrelton Simmons. And the last one is our gold Proof card, Wilson Ramos. That's why I always buy um, those baseball card exchange ones, just to cut down on the chance of getting a searched box, because that really does suck when that happens. 
I mean, 87 tops, you would figure, who the heck's gonna search a box of 87 tops? But I guess there's someone out there. I mean, if you got an 87 tops box, you need to get any one at all in there. If you got all commons, that would be pretty suspicious. All right, this is our last box of the night. Last one, there's four packs, so four packs, and then we're done. Here we go. AJ Schultz says, I love the box videos, but he's still doing ball hawking videos. I mean, I have like five that I haven't released. I just, um, I feel like people don't watch them. They take a lot of time to edit. Lots and lots of time. Like every, uh, every ball hawking video, there's like almost two hours of footage to go through. So if only like 2,000 people are going to watch it and it takes like, I don't know, three hours to put together. I don't know if it's really worth it. But I will consider it. I'm thinking about maybe just doing it on Patreon so people on Patreon can watch them. Since most of my subscribers seem to prefer the baseball card videos. All right, let's see here. Get that set up there. All right, first up we have another Machado card. Then we have a Lumberjacks card. This one is going to be Kyle Schwarber. Schwarby, as I call him. Chasing Donnie Baseball says, love the flea market vids with you and your bro. Thank you very much. Those are fun to make. Alex Rodriguez War card. Hope you guys will check out Chasing Donnie Baseball if you just joined the chat. He's doing an 83 Tops break uh, very soon on Friday. Greg Maddox, 109 complete games. Already seen that one. And now it's time to get to the autograph. This one is going to be... Jake Bowers again for the second time. Jake Bowers, 103 of 125. So Jonathan H. gets a second Jake Bowers hit, Jake Bowers rookie card. And we also have a Francisco Mejia triple relic. So our second time seeing Francisco Mejia triple relic right there for the Padres. That one goes to Darren C. Let's check out the rest of these. Uh, we have Mike Moustakis again. And then Trey Turner. I think that might be the first Trey Turner that we've seen. Francisco Lindor. I think that's the first Lindor one that we've seen. Bryce Harper for the second time. And the last card is our gold proof card. It is a Corey Kluber. Corey Kluber gold proof card. So that's it for that box. Three boxes left to go. CJC card says the flea market's around. You are nothing like uh, the ones we have. We're pretty lucky uh, around this area. Have uh, Within two hours, we do have a lot of good flea markets. Anthony E says, can you quickly explain how you price your box breaks on eBay? It's um, kind of confusing, actually. I have a little formula that I use to price them. First of all, I come up with um, what I paid for the box. So say it's uh, $1,000 just uh, for a case. And then I divide that by 0.8. That gives me a, that's a 20% markup. Why the 20%? Well, eBay takes about 10%. And then... Uh, there's all these bugs all over my screen here. Gross. And then PayPal takes about 3%. And then I have to pay Pennsylvania 6% on anything that I buy. So you do the math right there. That's about 19% um, total. And then um, that's kind of like my baseline. That's what I, I'm looking to get back. And then I try to price the teams by... Uh, just looking at recently sold, and I also look at the checklist and kind of use all that information to come up with a uh, a price per team. It's, it takes a lot of work. Mike Trout, seven-time All-Star. I try to price them fairly and as accurately as possible, and uh, I think that's why they sell out so quickly. Anthony Rendon, not whole gang. That's a nice one. And Joe iPhone says, would you consider doing a mixer break from the 50s, 60s, and the 70s? Joe, I'm always looking for boxes, but they're so expensive. Um, very, very expensive. Like we're talking $5,000 or more from like the mid seventies or else I would be doing those every throwback Thursday. Yeah. I saw that you're not allowed to use ball retrievers anymore at PNC park. Um, Vladimir Guerrero. It's a nice one right there going to the NL East cause he's owned by the nationals. Then we have a Miguel Cabrera power alley card. Now it's time to get to the hits. We have a, looks like it's a baseball, signed baseball. It is Michael Kopech. That's a good one. Michael Kopech, one of the top pitching prospects in baseball. He's out with Tommy John, and it's number one 
Number one of 125. Michael Kopech, Jonathan, this is a good one. Michael Kopech, been hearing a lot about him recently, um, at least the past year. Unfortunately, he's uh, hurt, but he'll be back next year and hopefully better than ever. A lot of the guys that go undergo Tommy John come back better than ever, and I hope that's the case for Kopech. And our other one, we have a Nicky Delmonico. So another one for you, Jonathan, with back-to-back -back hits in this box. Double Bat Relic. It's numbered 235 of 249 from the Chicago White Sox. There's the back of it. You can see player used material for Nicky Delmonico, young player for the White Sox. Check out the last bit of cards here. White Sox packs as DVs. Yep, you're not kidding. Carlos Carrasco. Then we have Ozzy Albies. And John Lester is the last one. Two boxes left to go. Last two of the night. Justin says, do we get hit by the severe storms? We did have back-to-back -back thunderstorms here that were pretty uh, intense. Kind of sucked having to go to the post office in that. Uh, the whole golf course was flooded out. There was like a river running through our yard down to the golf course. But uh, yeah, pretty hard rain for about an hour or so. All right, this is our second to last pack, so let's uh, get up the little curtain here so you can't really tell who's coming. Save a little bit of suspense. Mike Trout, 76 of 99 is the top card there. It goes to Linda. And then Whit Merrifield, Power Alley card for Jonathan. And then we have a Naturals, Mookie Betts. I think we've pulled this card already. Getting towards the autograph section here. Lumberjacks, Roy Campanella, seen that one already for the Dodgers and Darren. Thank you very much, Tony. And here is our hit. It's a Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin Gonzalez with the Astros in this card. 39 of 50. That one's going to Linda W. Marwin Gonzalez can play all over the place. Um, his agent, Scott Boris, calls him, I think he, what's he call him? Swiss? Swiss something? I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of weird nickname. I can't remember. Marwin Gonzalez. He plays all over the diamond. Very, very nice. That one goes to Linda. And we have a Super Chat coming in. MG with a $2 New Zealand Super Chat says, Watching on a lazy Thursday afternoon. Great stuff. Thank you very much for that Super Chat. Really cool that you're watching the whole way from New Zealand. So they're ahead of... Oh, they're ahead of us. Kirby Puckett. Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett Bat Relic. Legendary Lumber. Kirby Puckett, you get a piece of Kirby Puckett's bat. That goes to the American League Central. That's Jonathan. Congrats, John. Glad to see you getting a, a nice Hall of Fame relic there. That's what I was hoping for out of this um, out of this product is a lot of Hall of Fame bat relics and autographs and cut signatures, and we're starting to see a, a couple of them. We got McCovey and Puckett. Best car of the night so far is still the uh, Vladdy Jr. autographed glove piece. There's my brother, the pass is alive. And it's game used by Kirby Puckett. Game used Kirby Puckett. 71 of 99 Kirby Puckett bat. Congrats, Jonathan. Let's check out the uh, other cards real quick. We have Clayton Kershaw. Glove design. Then we have A. Eugenio Suarez with the bat um, texture there. Next up, we have a Giancarlo Stanton. And... Nick Castellanos, gold proof from the Tigers. So we're down to our last box of the night. The very last box of the night. And then I'll, I'll go through all of the hits for you and just do a quick recap because I realize some of you are just coming into the stream now. We'll recap all those. I got a big hit pile. Let's see if I can get this last one open here. Yosef, I will show you the good cards in a second. But first, let's check out this very last pack. Rox says, um, is the past alive my brother? Yep, that is my brother. So he's the guy you see in all the flea market videos. So give him a sub. He's got the blue wrench next to his name. He routinely has, um, I don't know, about 125 to 150 people in his live streams. He did a nice break of uh, 89 Bowman last night. Lots of people in there watching that. That was a pretty fun break to check out. He does lots of older stuff. Francisco Lindor is the first one. Next up. 
We have Shoyo Tani, not whole gang card. And we have a super chat here from Chasing Donnie Baseball. Says he's a 291, not 300, but can't complain. You all rock. Eric, another terrific, terrific fun break tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chasing Donnie Baseball. He only needs nine more subs. Uh, hopefully you guys can get him there. Go ahead and click on his $5 and help him get to uh, his uh, goal there. Just get him nine more subs. It'll make his night. And um, TD Sports Cards with a $5 super chat. Says, love watching your vids. You're very knowledgeable. Keep it up. Thank you very much, TD Sports Cards. Check them both out. TD and also Chasing Donnie Baseball. Thank you guys very much. Kyle Ripken, 19-time All-Star. Basically every year, Kyle was in the uh, Midsummer Classic. Giancarlo Stanton War card. And down to our final two hits of the night. First one is a Colby Allard signed on a bat. That's the second Colby Allard card that we've pulled. 144 of 149. And down to our final one of the night. And then I'll recap all the hits for you. It is going to be a Wilson Contreras, Chicago Cubs catcher card there. 248 of 299, a double bat relic card of Wilson Contreras. There's the back. It's player used. And we'll check out those final couple cards. Then I'll show you all of the hits. And then I'm going to go get some cereal. Brandon Crawford, Albert Pujols. That's the first time we've seen Pujols. Also have um, Justin Smoke from the Toronto Blue Jays. And last card of the night, Ronald Acuna Jr. Going to the NL East. So once again, that's how we sold them. We sold them by division to make it e makes it a lot easier for me to sort. I mean, the break's already sorted. All I have to do is go through the hits and sleeve them all up and get them in top loaders if they're autographed. And All right, I'm going to show you all the hits. Here we go. Uh, this is just a quick breakdown of everything that we pulled. Wilson Contreras, double bat. Colby Allard, uh, signed bat. Then we have a Kirby Puckett, game used bat. And that is going to Jonathan H., who just super chatted us. Ten bucks. Says, thanks again, Eric. Love being in. These, regardless of the outcome, provides good entertainment for hundreds of people. Hope my vids can entertain at some point as well. Thank you very much, Jonathan H. I hope you guys will go check out Jonathan H.'s channel, Thanks for the support, Jonathan, in the break, and also the Super Chats. Really appreciate it. Marlon Gonzalez autograph. Then also we had Nikki Delmonico. We had this one. Michael Kopeck was a good one. On ball signature, I guess you could call it. Francisco Mejia, triple relic. I'm going through all the good ones here. Then we had Jake Bowers, first of two. On ball signatures. Shoei Otani, triple relic. Rowdy Telez. On Leather Signature, Alex Verdugo, Triple Relic. Rivals card is a pretty nice one with um, Acuna and Soto, the two finalists and the winner and runner-up for Rookie of the Year. All right, moving right along to the next stack of hits. Francisco Mejia, Double Relic. So we had a triple and a double from him. Then we had a Corbin Burns from the Brew Crew. Flashing the Leather, Andrew Benatendi, a piece of his glove. You can check out the uh, texture there. Then also we had a Garrett Hampson, um, Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray, Leather and Lumber, Double Relic. Looks like Chasing Donnelly needs two more subs if you want to help him out. Rivals, Chris Sale and Blake Snell. What else do we have here? Getting to the, towards the big ones. Then we had a Caleb Ferguson on the glove. Signature, Stephen Piscotti. Kevin Kramer on ball signature, Matt Barnes. David Fletcher, Triple Relic. Delano DeShields Jr., Triple Relic. Kevin Kramer, that's going to be a nice bat signature card there. Corey Seager, Triple Relic, Double Bat and a Jersey. Kyle Wright, On Bat Auto. Austin Hayes, Triple Relic with a Jersey and Double Bat. There's Chasing Donnie Baseball, 298 Super Chat because he's at 298 subs. He only needs two more subs if you want to help him out get to 300. Thank you very much for that. Super chat, and uh, I hope you guys help him get there. He only needs two if you want to help him out and make his night. Jake Bowers, this is the last stack of uh, hits. Shoei Otani triple, the second Shoei that we got. Jason Kipnis, autograph, and then we had a Kyle Tucker triple relic. Then we had a Danny Jansen on bat auto rookie card. We had Jose Reyes triple relic with two stripes in it. Kevin Newman rookie card on ball signature, and then we had a um, redemption for Juan Soto. Juan Soto, baseball signatures black. That's a pretty nice one. Juan Soto. 
Jake Cave triple relic, two bats and a jersey. And then a nice big bat relic of Willie McCovey and Alex Verdugo, bat relic and auto. And you might say, there's one last card that's missing. What was the best card of the night? I'm going to show it to you right now. This card sells or has sold for $400. It was the best one of the night. Let me get this bad boy in a top loader. It was this one. This was my pick for the best one of the night. Vladimir Guerrero on glove signature. Um, we had a couple of people say that it's selling for 400 bucks. Uh, number nine of 99. That was the best one of the night by far. Uh, lots of cool stuff in there, but this was my favorite one. And you guys did it, Chasing Tony Baseball with a 301 Super Chat. He got to 300. Make sure you check out his channel. And uh, also, tune in on Friday for his 83 tops break. And Preston Sports is so insanely jealous about those puckets. Thanks, Jabs. Preston Sports, thank you very much. If you want to, um, I don't know, check with Jonathan H. and see if they are for sale or trade, he is in the uh, live stream. Um, Jonathan H., just click on his name, go to his channel, give him a sub, and see if uh, you can arrange to get one of those puckets for a trade or purchase. So with that, everyone, that concludes break A. We still have two more breaks of this, break B and C, coming your way probably Sunday night, as I'm not expecting the case until this weekend, um, just because it didn't get sent out today. Uh, also, Top's Definitive, which I guess is like absolutely crazy stuff coming out of Top's Definitive. We'll be doing that this weekend also. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Friday night in Throwback Thursday. We'll be doing another game show style giveaway contest. So make sure that you are watching live with your iPads ready to go if you want to participate in that. Uh, tomorrow we have Throwback Thursday, 1982 Tops. We'll be looking for Cal Ripken Jr.'s rookie card. Uh, I'll be putting those for sale sometime tomorrow on my Patreon page. And, um, yeah, that's what's coming up. I hope you're able to watch. Um, thank you all for watching tonight. I hope you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this break. Nice, quick, tidy hour 15 break there of leather and lumber. So with that, I'm going to turn out the lights and go get myself some cereal. Flick these bugs off my screen here, which is really gross. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will see you all tomorrow.